Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're gonna be getting into all the lights in this pack. <laughs> and we're also going to set ourselves up an AFK fishing farm. So I hope you guys are ready. So today I want to test out some of these really cool light mods that are actually in here, just kind of floating around in this pack, and I want to put a use to them. So one of them that I was kind of interested in is this one, the lightest lamps. Now this one requires probably the most and and, and probably the most in-depth uh, crafting stuff to, to get into it. Like you need this gas centrifuge, which requires boron, which you get from the nether. And there's a whole lot of crafting here, it seems like to even get into this. And I think boron, I'm pretty sure we have some boron ore. Um, this just needs to be processed down, and I, I don't know if it can be processed down in the way that you think. Yeah, it doesn't seem like... Okay, so it can be crushed inside of like a silent silence crusher, but it is not supported with mechanism. But it can, however, just be smelted up to give us those resources that we want. Um, so I'm going to let that go ahead and process, but let's go ahead and take a look at uh, at this thing. Um, so, this gas centrifuge has a lot of interesting recipes. Um, so, like, glowstone converts into these other materials. And then these other materials are used to make different lamps and stuff. So, like, illuminated glass. There's these rods, which are used to make, like, delta lamps. Which says light penetration. Which I assume, like, lights up things um, through walls. Like, just sends light completely through walls which is kind of a neat concept so let's go ahead and make this thing I don't know if it requires like power to run or how this actually functions I'm gonna place it right here so it's yeah it's not really connected to any power so I see there's two levels indicated over here and I don't I think that might be related to gases I I have no idea if it would connect to power it should have connected to here if I place it here still doesn't really need power okay okay so it's good to know it's good to know power is definitely not a necessity for this so what is what is so we've seen glowstone for example glowstone will break down into parts um, but we need a filter and it says neutralize waste store waste oh so this must be like waste buildup that happens um, and then I also need, so this is at lightest light lamps, lights, right? It's the lightest mod. <laughs> oh, it's EST. If I can spell light, there we go. Lightest. Um, so we do need a filter. So if we look here like this to, to do glowstone, which is just regular glowstone. We need a centrifuge filter, and it says created fluid is five boron. So it pretty much creates some liquid boron um, in its process. So I guess once you get started, like you're going to have that. Uh, but we do need to make the filter, which looks like it's boron nuggets. And I wonder if these filters have durabilities. So filter here, and we put glowstone. Ooh, and you can see that it is, I guess, filtering that glowstone out and we're now getting the uh the remnants the dust from it kind of interesting um i don't know where it's getting the waste product as far yeah this has a durability where's it getting the the boron five millibuckets maybe it's just not it's so little it's not even showing up but anyways there's there's so many different things that you can do um like, I guess the higher up you go with the filters, the better stuff you can get out of it, I guess. That's going to allow you to make some very interesting stuff. Um, here's the centrifuge for this. Okay. So it's, it's kind of showing what you get, I guess. Yeah, each of these filters are going to require different stuff. So, like, this is a boron mesh, and it just keeps going up from there. So, radon, well... I don't want to get too much into radon. I actually covered a pack back in the day that was related to... Actually, the whole pack was called Radon. And then everyone got nothing but radon, anti-radon ads. And I hope you guys don't get a radon ad during this video. <laughs> that would be kind of hilarious. Okay, so here is some of the materials that we got from here. Um, 
And what exactly are they used for? This is used to making this dust, which is used to make this block. That block doesn't really have a use. Um, Krypton dust is used to make this lamp. And then we have this lamp fruit. It says grow glow. All right, we might have to see, like get into that lamp and see what exactly that lamp has to offer. Um, this is aglo, right? Agglomeratio <laughs> from lightest lamps. It doesn't seem to have a, a use, at least not in here. And then Krypton glowstone, which could be used to just make regular lamps. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of stuff to look into, but I'm more interested in like these specialized lamps. Like this is a work in progress lamp. Um, this is a neon rod block, but we also have these neon rods that we can end up making. And I don't know if these, like, I guess these are just used for crafting, right? There's no way you can place like a neon rod. Um, then we have a chunk cleaner, illumination block. I guess chunk cleaner would be used um, for clearing out lights, even though you can't craft the item. Um, a Vanta block, which is like super black. If you don't know what Vanta black is, that right there, it's so black that like, it's, it's, yeah, it doesn't have any reflections or anything like that. It's, it's crazy. Like all the light gets absorbed into it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and worry about this fruit. Like, let's see what we can do. Like, is this fruit just like, it just grows glow is what it says. And where can you place this? Anywhere? Does it need to be placed? Okay, so we can, pretty, we can be placed here. I was wondering if it's like something that's harvestable or is it just like a decoration like block? It, it very much seems like a decoration block, but it, it might actually produce something. I don't know. We're going to leave it here as odd as it is, <laughs> as odd as it is there. We're going to leave it here. Okay, so the more I look into it, the more I realize this is actually going to be a long process. Um, so I think the only other way like to speed this up would be to make a bunch of gas centrifuges. Uh, but th the way I'm looking at this is, okay, so to get like a regular clear lamp, it's not it's not that bad. Like, I think we have even the stuff to make it. So if we just make a clear lamp, like this is what the lamp looks like. It's inverted, it lights up an area standard to its counterpart, it's just inverted. But when we look even further, this says it will light up 16 blocks around it. Then this one will do 17 blocks, this one will do 18 blocks, and then adds light penetration, and so on and so forth. But, but to get to this point, you need quite a bit of neon dust and these glass rods, you need a lot of glass to make that and upgrade that. Then. You go into this, which is neon rod blocks, which is even more neon, and you only get about one to two neon, it seems, per glowstone dust. Like right now, I have a little bit of neon and it's starting to build up, but that really starts to add up when you count how much actual glass. Well, I mean, maybe not, because I guess you get 10 glass rods for that. But still, this starts to really add up when you start looking at like how expensive these start to, to get as far as just time goes. Um, the other stuff is like super sea lanterns, which I really wanted to see about getting a guardian farm going. And I don't know how easy it would be with, I mean, I guess we could just like void out all the water and then set up our own water in the area, but we would have to, it, we would take so much power and time to do that. I don't know. And then there's the interdiction one, um, interdiction, by the way, uh, will repel mods, uh, repel mobs. And I mean, all this other stuff, like these are just, these will just end up being blocks of this material. Now, I don't know, don't quote me on this. I don't know exactly how well this works. Let's go ahead and just make one block. I want to see what this looks like when you place it on the ground. Okay, so it's just a bright block, but doesn't seem like it gives off any light, which is not bad. I mean, so we have our regular here. We can go ahead and make four of these. Well, let's not make that auto crafting. We make four of these and we'll go ahead and we'll just upgrade this. All right? Bam, that's an alpha lamp that's upgraded to 16 blocks. And then we need a bunch of these, which apparently we need more glass. 
So we'll just go through this process and I'll just show you. Um, we're already out of neon and we're through about a half a stack of glowstone. And that's only going to get us one block so far. So yeah, it starts to really increase. But then it switches over to another material, which is the Argon. And you get Argon from an upgraded... I mean, you do get it as a side effect here. We have 46. Um, and then I'm guessing a Krypton is going to be something that we get. But we're only getting piles of Krypton, which probably gets combined like that and makes actual Krypton. So... I mean, kind of a cool concept, and I'm kind of interested in to see, you know, seeing how far, far this can go. Um, the Vanta Black really seems like a cool thing with the carbon nanotubes, which is funny because that's exactly how it's made. But that's not the only light mod I want to look into. Um, so there is extended lights. Now, this one has some really cool stuff. It does use blaze rods, which is still kind of expensive. But we have these things like pink flamingos, redstone, which I'm really interested in getting this going. Um, and as if I don't have any red, um, let's just go ahead and pull up some poppies because I have like an unlimited amount of poppies at this point. Right, so at extended lights, this is kind of cool. So we have these tubes that we can make and we just need red glass in order to make this. And this will make redstone and it basically adds some uh some signs so we can place this like on a on a window like we can't place it here but we could technically place it on a piece of glass but if we place it here it kind of just glows and is like a little overlay that looks kind of like redstone on the wall um i just found out recently though that like flamingos are actually like an anti-HOA like kind of symbol. So if you don't know what an HOA is, it's a housing association. Like if you live in certain neighborhoods, um, you usually have to pay like a fee and the HOA will keep up usually with the neighborhood. Um, so some people don't like that and they'll like, they'll protest it and in protest, they'll put like pink flamingos out in their yard. I didn't know that. I thought that was hilarious. Um, that that's actually the thing that goes on. I'm going to try and make a couple of these. Like the white bone mill. We should have bone mill. Um, so I want to make a couple of these. And put them on our buildings. Because like, why not have an area where we have potions? Bam. We have some lights we can now use. Um, Ender Neon. That looks kind of like a record, doesn't it? And then we have the diamond for like, we can put that on our mine. All of these cool things that we're just we're kind of not messing with. Like, look at this. That's our that's our mine. And then over here, we can make this like our potion room. We could have put some neon bottles up here. That's kind of cool looking. I mean, just little aesthetic things that go such a long way. Now, I know we have these light posts that are kind of sprawled around and I really think that we could add some aesthetics to those and add some really cool stuff to them. So like this square lantern really seems like a, a good option for that. Let's go ahead and make some nuggets. And so up on the top of these these posts that we have, we could light them up. So like this, well, we can't use it here because, of course, it breaks the uh, cable. Um, so let me hook that back up. There we go. But like on this one, for example, it could really use some light. So I can place these on top here. And it really does look like it's a an actual like light post. I don't know. It could be a little bit bigger. Like I don't know if these are any bigger, but they're like caged ones. And I don't know if I care too much for the caged variants. But it really does kind of add to it. I know there's lamps that are from immersive engineering. And honestly, there's lamps that are powered by the cable and you can actually place the lamp and then run the power through the lamp. So like that's totally an option. But I mean, for what it is, this actually looks pretty decent. It's not too bad. Now, the, the mod does have its own variant of a light post, but as you can see, it's definitely not tall enough, I don't think. Like this is a very like short post. Um, and it's also kind of expensive to get into. I have to say, like, I know you can easily make a farm for Blaze. And this would give you a reason to. I mean, there's a lot of reasons to make this. Like, 
but this requires a bunch of glowstone and these special lights here require some pretty expensive materials so um making them in large quantities not exactly something that i would probably do but it is it is kind of an idea right so another light mod that is absolutely fantastic is this one um so i do need to kind of get a little bit of a setup going for this but i think this will look really good once we we have it done so right here over our crop um it's kind of plain jane we just kind of have the house here so what i would like to do is kind of make this look a little bit cooler right and i could probably go up one more like this and then same goes for this area over here we can add a little bit of flair i think to this uh this whole area so let's go ahead and add a little bit of flair just like that um let's drop this here if i could <laughs> if i could get it to work right i love that my sword by the way works very similar to an axe um but so what do we need we need some of these hanging lights and uh, we can actually place these just about anywhere i'm gonna hang them off of a fence post maybe actually i'm gonna hang them off of a lamp or a block that's gonna be connected here and then have the fence post holding the the block up same goes for this area Except for right here, I'm going to place this here. Actually, I'm going to place it up into the, the wall here. There we go. And still make it kind of looks look a little bit better. All right, so what do we need to do? Well, I need to click on here and then find an attachment point, which is going to be this fence. And you can see they're kind of just like dangling down. I think I'm going to actually raise this up one more. Let's go up one more fence post. There we go. And that might look a little bit better. We'll click there, bring this over, bam, slap it on that wall. And then for here, we're gonna click here and bring it up over here. So we get these kind of like hanging lights, right? And then on here, we can like customize what is connected to it. So right here, we have these lights that are hanging or right here, we can have these lanterns that are kind of hanging. And they do actually provide light, which is kind of cool as well. Um, even though I would like to have this, like I said, a bit higher up, maybe even have this higher up. So when you break this, you only get your item back. So keep that in mind. Let's go up top here. Maybe I want, I think I want this just a tad bit higher. And so to do that, placing these logs up here and maybe putting a slab on top would even look better. Um, same goes for this. I'm just gonna actually fit this right in here. Look at this. We'll throw that there. And then we can hook these in. Maybe they'll look a little bit better. I, I mean, that's not too bad, but it's still not high enough. So I think bringing this up one more will do it. And then, voila! So yeah, that's a little bit better. That's definitely a lot higher. And it doesn't feel like we're so so cramped. Okay, same goes for this. Right here, right here. And yeah, okay, so that looks a lot better. And uh, there's all kinds of different like lights you can use. You don't even have to use lights. There's like tassels and flags and all kinds of cool, cool stuff. And you can actually also just place these directly on the wall if you so feel necessary. Like, look at that. We have these cool looking lanterns and they actually connect to the wall. Um, same with these. I think these will even connect and they'll connect to the bottom of objects as well. So there's a lot of different, different stuff you can do, all kinds of different colors you can go with. Yeah. See how that just like hangs there and they're super easy to break as well. So no need to worry about that. So a really cool light that I, I find this one to be really awesome is this light. So these are actually like, just like fluorescent tubes that you can place just about anywhere. Um, and like, say you want to place it directly from the ceiling, bam. Now we have this really cool entryway that is actually lit up. And yeah, it's just really, really cool stuff you can do. These can hang from walls like that. 
And as you just seen, they can also be placed on the bottom of blocks and not only just hang. And I think they can be placed on the ground as well. And they kind of stick up like this just standard rod, like this glowing. Really cool. And like all these things I think can be placed. Um, so we have like snowflake lights and we have these lanterns and skulls and these icicle lights and all of this stuff um, that you can make. I mean, there's just letters like there's literally letters <laughs> like in Garland. Um, this Garland, I believe, is another attachable thing. So like if we really are feeling festive and we want some Garland hanging up. Bam, we can have some garland hanging up of whatever color you want. So fairy lights, definitely a fantastic mod and probably one of the coolest light mods that are in here. So I totally think I have an area now that should work as far as like an AFK fishing farm goes. Um, so what we need is we're going to set up some hoppers and some chests that are actually going to go down below here. I'm going to go ahead and set my multi tool to fast. And then we're going to clear out this just a little bit because um, we need enough room for some chests. So there's going to be a chest here, chest here, and actually the bottom chest does not need to go there. So I cleared a little bit too much, <laughs> apparently. So let's go up a little bit. Okay. So for right here, this should be plenty. So I'm going to have a couple of chests just like this and a chest on the main main floor. Um, and then we're going to just have a line of hoppers that go up this whole thing. Basically, the hopper will fill the bottom chest first. Um, then we also need this block to be cleared. And then right here, we're going to have water that is going to go here. Now you can put some supporting blocks on the side. Um, I think like fence or panes should work so that we don't end up with water flowing out. But once you get this placed, you shouldn't have that problem anymore. So like, let's just put it here. For example, let's go ahead and put the fence here and then we can actually go ahead and also set up the, uh, the trap door and the pressure plate. So the pressure plate is going to go here onto this, uh, this block. We're actually going to have like right on this block. Let's place this here. We're going to have an iron trap door that is going to go like this. And then technically I like to put a block on top of uh of this so put a block on top so it doesn't make noise then you can go ahead and get rid of this down below uh you need a bucket of water so i don't know if i have a bucket i do have a bucket okay so i have a bucket right here and we just need to find some water <laughs> which i have a source over here and i've actually removed several of my sources oh my goodness I have a sink. Let's go to the sink. Now to get this to work, all we have to do is place the water here and you can see that that now flows. We can pick our glass back up because we no longer need it to support that water. And this is an AFK fish farm. All we got to do is look at this block here, stand on this chest, look at the block and use a fishing pole. Now, I don't think I have a fishing pole right off. So let's go ahead and make one. And I'm also going to enchant it too while I'm over here. So to enchant this, hopefully I get some good stuff. Okay, so we got lure, luck of the sea, like unbreaking three, like that's really good. It's only missing mending. Um, now this thing won't last forever, but it should last quite a bit of time. And we should be able to get this to work. Let's go ahead and hop over here. And basically we just want to stand here. And we just hold down right click. And you can see right there, it's fishing for us. So you just hold down right click and there are ways to get this to work like automatically without you needing to hold down your right key button. And in vanilla, it would be F3T and that would lock you in and you wouldn't have to use it. But in modded doing F3T is going to take a lot longer and could potentially crash your game as reloading your textures. It's not as easy as doing that. So you can see it just worked. Um, we ended up getting an item. Now, it may not have got pulled to me, um, but I think I can get some wood or sticks. Do we have sticks in here? Wood. I just want to make a couple ladders just so we can walk down. 
and get her stuff. We're, ladders, are ladders changed? I think I've seen this. Yeah, ladders are different. Wow. Why do ladders have to be different? Oh, and it, okay. Probably because it can be different colors. Very, very interesting. All right. So that's a thing. So yeah, just want to place this down enough so that way we can get down here and access the stuff that went in here. So we ended up getting this from aquaculture. Now, aquaculture is really cool because it does add a lot of cool fishing stuff. And so setting up this farm is a really good thing to do. You also don't want to walk in the water. You want to like get your rod right there on it, just like that. And once you get it positioned, like I said, F3T, or you can just use an auto clicker, or you can set your like up arrow key to, to do this button. And then once you have it placed, you can like set something heavy on that key or whatever key is easier for you. Even like the, uh, my right inner key on my numpad, that would probably be an easy key to set something on. And then you just sit here and just let it do its thing. And then you are good for the long run. So one last thing, don't forget to add glass above the area so you have a better chance um, of catching things. I think that it does improve your rate and having clear view of the sky definitely helps that. Um, but one thing I wanted to say is again, a huge thanks to one of our Patreons. And uh, that Patreon is actually a brand new Patreon, which is Alex Hyena. Thank you so much for the uh, the amazing support over over there on Patreon. I do appreciate that. And you just get a nice sign in here right next to this build that we worked on today. And um, yeah, I'm going to be sitting here AFK fishing for a little while. Hopefully we get some really good stuff. Already we're getting a bunch of food, but I'm more interested in like the Nautilus shells, all the name tags you can get from here. And that's the main thing. Name tags are going to be very important. So having this fisher here this afk fish farm is fantastic and i should be able to get quite a bit done but guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and also give this video guys a huge thumbs up i really appreciate it. i'll see you guys in the next episode and as always <laughs> thanks for watching bye now